Hi everyone, this is Professor Michael Smith. This is going to be a quick tutorial to show my Web Design 1 students how to use variables to manage your color palette and make broad changes with single a single change of the variable value of your color. So we have our recipe here um, with our colors that are used. It's just a, a primary color, a black, a white, and two grays. And we can see those in our CSS. We declared them at the top and, and just commented them out. And we're going to use the variable syntax, which I'm going to show you an example of in the uh, Mozilla documents. So we use the root pseudo selector. And then in a declaration block, we put a dash dash and then a name. And it's good to keep it lowercase. And you can name it anything, and you can use dashes to separate words. And then our classic syntax. So it's just dash dash, the name of the value, colon, and then the, the color value. All right. And then when we want to call uh, this main big color, use the var, var syntax here. You can see this var keyword with an open curly bra uh, open parenthesis, close parenthesis, and we pass the value of the color here. So we need to generate all of these variables and then we need to replace our colors with the var keyword in the name of the color. So let's get started on how to do that. So the idea is we need to wrap this with the root pseudo class root. All right. So we'll cut this and put it at the bottom. So we have our declaration block here and it's saying we don't have these uh, correctly set up and so we need to fix these so all of these need to have the dashes in front of it. I'm going to use a multi cursor selector in Visual Studio Code by holding down the alt key we put our cursor in the place we want to start and we alt click on all these spots we put the dash dash all right and then we can do the same and put the alt select so I can put the colon after all of these colon and then finally I have to make sure I have my semicolon so I put the cursor here and put alt select and I put semicolons and now that should be good CSS all right so I've declared color black dark gray light gray white and primary these are now um, variable declarations that I can use so I can replace f2 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 with var color white right and the same thing with black say var color and you can see I'm just being lazy I can start typing color and then I start typing black and it recommends and it recommends the correct syntax of dash dash color dash black so to speed things along you can move there and then I could just move through my whole document I'm going to show a couple more and then I'm going to uh, finish ahead var dash uh, primary. I can even type primary because it's the only one. And we'd move through the whole document replacing all of these with that syntax and the, you'll see that the the resulting CSS is unchanged, right? So if we look at the beginning, if we want to see what this looks like in the actual CSS, so let's do one more. Let's do this var color white all right, and save this. And so we can inspect this element, which we know we've been changed them. All right. And we can see that the H1 is using these var values. All right. And then we can see the root is inherited from the HTML. So this root pseudo selector has inherited all these values. So I hope you consider uh, taking advantage of this because the nice thing is after we've changed all these, the, the whole point of doing something like this, let's Let's. Uh, I'm going to finish them and I'll come back and you'll see them all. Okay, welcome back. I, I've replaced every single color value with a variable, every single one throughout the whole document. So now we can see the advantages of. So you can see, for example, let's say I wanted to use a different primary color. So if I go to this variable, and so right now everything still looks the same, right? So all my everything that was pink is pink. Um, that has been defined. But if I go here and I change this to say um, this, let's use a blue, right? And if we switch to say this blue and I save this, you can see all the primaries are now blue 
and my corresponding document is everything that was blue is now blue. So instead of having to change that blue value in five or six different places, I change it in one place and all are affected. The same with every other value that I've defined here. If I like decide that this white isn't bright, is, is too dark and I need a real true white, then you can change it to your classic FFF um, and that will work. That's it.